So good afternoon, everyone. I feel compelled to make this video because like everybody's going crazy around me, it seems. I saw a lady, right? Go to the shop and bought the entire um chariot. What is that name in English again? Chariot. The trolley cat, the trolley cat, yes. The entire trolley cat. Toilet paper. Toilet paper, toilet paper, toilet paper. <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to laugh. I don't want to laugh. No water. No food. No hand sanitizer or anything like that. No, but she could have been shopping for a particular reason, right? If it was only her, I saw, but it wasn't only her. Many people just out there shopping for toilet paper. So I, I need to understand if I need to go and start shopping for toilet paper too. My bag of toilet paper I have in my bathroom not enough for I don't know. <laughs> um, I think we need water and food like if we're going to be under siege like um circumstances we should have food to, to last us a while and to survive a short long you know like for example flour and um, dry goods thin stuff i don't know and, and also hand sanitizer because they're saying that the disease cannot last very long in disinfected areas. So, what about stock of one map? Oh, why not buy things that you would buy? You know, okay. Okay, it's an emergency, I understand. So you might want to do a little extra shopping for a period of time, maybe to last you two months, you know? But somebody purchased lady. As a lady, right? Why she bought somebody who knew her? Why did she buy so much of toilet paper? She said, But like you ain't here. It's coronavirus out there. Okay. Just just leave it out there. So the coronavirus is going to be completely eliminated by toilet paper. Okay? Alright. So that's that. Let's get to something else. Besides that. I am a bit concerned for myself and others who are in similar situations like myself that I'm not hearing that anybody is any health uh, um, authorities are offering immune boosters because you know when you had chemotherapy and all those um, chemical medications and stuff your immune system goes way down my immune system is still very low and it's still trying to pick up itself so if a disease as serious as coronavirus is coming around i would think that authorities would come up with something and they know that it's that we are at risk people like me are at risk i think that authorities should come up with something like immune boosters specially tailored for people who are already fighting illnesses, other illnesses, and the elderly people. Like something like maybe a flu shot, but not exactly a flu shot because we know that coronavirus don't have a shot yet. Or if it does, I don't know. I have not heard of it. But I just think that during during my period of taking chemotherapy i was given a shot every month or was it every three weeks it every three weeks or two a month 
I was given a shot to build my immune system. Maybe they could get that shot again. I don't know. But on Monday, I'm supposed to see the doctor. And I am contemplating going to the hospital where I know there are five confirmed cases for me to see my doctor. Because... Um, although I don't need to touch the door because it's automatic doors to get into the building or to get out of the building, I am sure that I might come into contact with some kind of elements. I don't want to put myself out there and expose myself to coronavirus or the flu or even dengue. I don't know, why. but. Uh, so I'm really contemplating whether or not I should actually go to my doctor's visit on Monday. Um, I had a PET scan yesterday that I did not, no, not yesterday. I had a PET scan Friday that I did not go to because of similar reasons. And, but, but I was encouraged though. I was encouraged because I did do my blood test last week. And once I did my blood test last week, I have good news. My cancer markers are going down. They are going down. <laughs> so, yes, you can see my big bright smile. Yeah, I'm, I'm really excited about that. And I'm really, you know, I'm excited to share that as well. So, let's just have that out there. I thank God for his strength and the, the force that continues to push me to fight. I told somebody something this week that I think I want to share here. I said that I said that I have never been I have always been a rebel for evil. I have never been good at giving in to evil. And I consider cancer to be very evil. And I, you might think it I'm talking about evil as in um Sukuya and Lugawu and those things, but I'm not really talking about that. Everything that is bad and filthy and aims to kill and destroy is evil. And cancer, for me, is evil. And I have never been good at giving in to evil. And I encourage you this week, do not give in to evil. Okay? Be a rebel against evil. My friends. <laughs> So I will leave you there, people. I guess you all want to go and buy your toilet papers. Cause, um, I might need to buy some so the way people buy no toilet paper. I might not get toilet paper next month or month after when I ready to buy. Okay. Thank you. And blessed Sunday to you. And the week. And stay safe from coronavirus. <laughs>